Hey there, so um, this is just a bit of a proof of concept. Uh, looking into some of the um, all quests kind of stuff here. You see this console right here, it, it, it lists all the current quests in the active quick save. So you see there's four quests that we have here, attack on the Indar Spire, which is in attack. You see the only completed one, and then we also have the Vassal Search, Largo's Bounty, and the Rapid Transit System one. And also the number next to it is the current state that it's in. So that's what I was talking about in Discord. We need to figure out what number corresponds with what we're considering to be completion for each of these quests. So now I'm gonna show you how the program works. So say for example I go to Zax, right? And uh, oops, I press the wrong button. And he tells me about the bounties. Uh, and so wait, yeah, let's see. Yeah, and like I collect on Largo, for example. And then so yeah, we've done that, and so now we have a quest update, right? So if I were to quick save the game, you'll notice that the number next to Largo changed to uh, 99. And so it's similar things to that, you know. And then like here, I told him to tell me about the bounties, right? And so now that should have added some bounties uh, quest to my uh, deal. And so if I were to quick save, see? Now we see Bindex Bounty, Selwyn's Bounty, Matrix Bounty, and Dia's Bounty all appear in the log, all in their starting state, which is 1. And so yeah, that's essentially, this is kind of what's going to be going on on the back end. And of course, uh, once we kind of figure out what some of the numbers that we're looking for are for these different quests, we can put together uh, quite the um, little program to uh, make this work. Yeah. Also, it's set up such that if you were to just jump in in the middle of some other save, like say uh, we loaded in here on, you know, Kashik. See, loading in doesn't change anything, but if I, as soon as I quick save here, then uh, the information changes to what we had at this point in the game, which, you know, you know, Kashik, you know, stuff, you know, various uh, Terrace Escape, Candorous, all those sorts of things, Starforge. Though here's something to notice, um, just like it, what's in the house, things in the quest log will disappear later on in the game. You'll notice that um, this is a similar save, uh, you know, because maybe these saves all one after the other. This, but so this is just later on when we're at Malik. You'll notice when I quick save here, all the cache quests are gone because they get deleted out of the quest log at some point later in the game. So we would have to have this running while the game is going. And basically, just once a quest gets check, uh, checked, uh, sorry, checked off the first time, then um, uh, it's satisfied in the program, and uh, the user would just need to uh, be sure to reset uh, the program every time they reset their run, which shouldn't be too difficult. But yeah, nonetheless, that's kind of what we're looking at so far. That's just you know kind of a little bit of a proof of concept, and yeah, I'm sure more can be done.